Over the past six months, I've been experimenting with close to 100 different AI tools, from photo editors to full audio and video generators. In this video, I'm going to show you the best animated AI avatar on the market. I spent hours researching, uploading photos, audio clips, and video samples. I looked at still image generators, AI avatars with lip syncing, and full AI avatars. Before I show you the best of the best overall, I want to show you the best websites I found in each category. Make sure to stick around to the end to discover the only website I found that can not only impersonate you, but also make it convincing enough to enough trick enough other humans. I gotcha. What if I told you that every shot of me from the last 45 seconds, including the video and the audio, was made by AI? Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to show you how I came up with the audio, how I came up with that avatar, and how this website stuck everything together, all for the low price of $0. After testing 15 different websites, I've narrowed this list into my favorite three. The first website is going to be about generating a still image and turning that image into a talking avatar with expression. The second website is going to be a pre-designed avatar that I can make and say whatever I want using lip sync. And the third is what you just saw for the first 45 seconds of this video. And that's where we're going to put everything together in order to make me say whatever I type in a script. Let's head over to Hedra to figure out how to make our first avatar. Once you log into Hedra, all you're going to do is click on create. If you click on stylize, that's a video that you already have, like a talking head that you can turn into a number of different styles. You can either create a script and select a predetermined voice. These are images that other people have created that you can actually remix yourself, which is kind of cool. There is no option to add your own voice unless you add the entire audio yourself. So for example, if I wanted to have an entire speech written out, I would have to speak that speech myself so that this AI avatar can then lip sync and the generated video would be of that. In order to have just any script that you want, you would write out the script and then select a predetermined voice. What I'm going to do is this is the route that I'm going to take. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this website. So if you want to try it yourself and you want to try both routes, you certainly can. Once you have a script written out, you can click on a voice and play it. God has given you one face. God has given you one sounds, face. And then you can pick a new one if you want. Once you have a voice picked out and you have your script here, all you're going to do is you can either upload a picture of yourself if you want yourself to speak it, or you can generate an AI image just like if you would do it with Dolly or with Ideogram. Their AI images are pretty good. They're not the best. They're not the most realistic, but you can make them super ridiculous and silly with these prompts. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and upload a picture of myself. And all I'm going to do is click generate video. It takes about a minute. As you can see, the longer the passage, the longer it's going to take to lip sync. The more head on your photo is, the better the lip sync is going to work. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. What I can also do is come down here. And if I don't want a picture of myself and I want Hedra to generate an AI image, I can describe my own character or I can just click randomize prompt. And as soon as you click on that, it'll come up with this picture. It seems to have the same couple prompts as you can tell over here. But what I can do is I can either randomize the scene or I can generate a new prompt. And every time I do that, a different image will pop up. So we got a wizard, we have a cyborg, we have a post-apocalyptic survivor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click create. As soon as I click that, I need a voice. Let's go with We Will. make our own fortunes, we make our and, we own fortunes fate. and we call them fate. And now once I click generate, it's going to take about a minute again. And then it'll generate this audio with Will's voice with this guy's face. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. The last thing that you can do on this website, let's say I wanted to take my original picture. All I have to do is click remix and then I can import my own audio. I can do that by either dropping in a previously created audio using whatever I want. So if I wanted to have 
somebody else's voice in here, like a celebrity's voice or something like that, I can download their voice and upload it in here. Or I can record my own voice saying the line, and Hedger will automatically sync what I say and lip sync it to that as well. So instead of generating it from a random voice, I can use my own voice or a celebrity voice like this. If you're liking this video so far, make sure you like and subscribe. The second type of AI avatar that I'm going to show you today is called captions. This one's going to be a lot more realistic. However, the caveat is that it gives you an already generated avatar. So now what we can do is come over here to AI creators, click on prompt to video, so I can come over here and type in a prompt and captions will automatically come up with a script based on that prompt. So what it did come up was the beep test, the fitness pacer test. So now I can come over here and I can either take this and run with it, but instead I think it would be more fun to actually put the exact wording into here. But now, once I have the script done, now I can click on edit style. And I have all these pre-generated creators over here. And since it's different styles of captions that you want. Who wants to do the pacer test today? Todd looks like he wants to do the pacer test. And I can come over here and choose on any one of these templates. And there are probably close to 100 different templates that I can choose from. They are all pre-generated, so I can't quite customize it yet. Once the video is generated, then I can customize it even further. But I'm like, I'm going to pick Pacific. And now it does take about 15 to 20 minutes or so to create your project. It really depends on how long the script is. So now that this is finished downloading, I can, and this is what it looks like by default with the watermarks all over it. But this is what it will sound like. The Fitness Gram TM Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. So what it's doing is it's automatically lip syncing the movement. It does have a plain background, but that just makes the AI easier to interact with, right? If the background was dynamic or if the model was moving around, that's what happened with Hedra. And you can see that the AI still isn't there. It gets a little wonky. So that's why they have, that's why they have pre-generated photos so that the people in the photos, they're not moving and it makes the AI a lot easier and the AI becomes a lot more realistic because of that. Once you're in here, you can change the style of the captions. You can actually change it to however way you want. You can change each individual word, each individual background or outline or things along those lines. You can come over here and add pictures to your video, although they are just very plain pictures and you can't get rid of this background which means this is just here. The 20 but meter if pacer you are trying, but if you're trying to do like an explainer type video and you wanted to pop up a picture of here, you can search or you can add your own image. So if I was talking about the pacer test, maybe I can put in a picture of a gymnasium from school or something on, along those lines. You can also get rid of the background noise. So this is generated audio, so there shouldn't be any background noise. But if you had audio of yourself and you put it in here for the AI to speak, you can get rid of the audio here. You can also change each individual subtitle. So let's say instead of 30 seconds, it should have been 40 seconds. I can come over here and change it and it'll automatically change in the script. I can come over here and break. So if I want it to have more of a pause in between words, or maybe I forgot to add a period so I can add a break in there. I can add a sound effect, I can add emojis, I can emphasize a word. So if I want this to be emphasized and I italic, I can add an emphasis to it. You can also change the aspect ratio. So if you wanted a TikTok vertical or a YouTube landscape type of video, you can do it that way. You can also do an Instagram square aspect ratio as well. But that's about it for captions. Unfortunately, if you wanted to download this without the watermark, you click export and it will have you pay per month, which is about $25 a month. So this is a fun tool to mess around with. However, the next tool I'm going to show you will give you three free video downloads. So let's head there now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click continue and it's gonna give me an intro video on how to use this. Once you watch and listen to that video, it'll give you two options. You'll either have a still video where you're mainly doing talking head videos, maybe a podcast of some sort, and then you'll have a motion video where you're outside for a walk and you're talking to the camera that way. You can choose the directions that you want to use. I just like the text directions. It'll tell you what to do. It'll tell you what to not do. 
and then you're going to click on next steps. So if you have footage of yourself, you can click on upload footage. If you have webcam footage, you can do it that way. The thing that this is going to do, though, is it's going to modify using AI the footage that you upload. So all the videos that you're going to produce will be in the same shirt or the same background. So if you choose to use yourself and your own face, make sure it's in a background or an environment that you want to use for all your videos. I will show you later on an option where you can be anybody and just face swap your own face with them and it'll lip sync and move your facial features using AI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on my camera and mic and I'm gonna do a recording. As you can see here, there is an option to remove the background with AI and keep the 4K resolution. However, that is a premium only option. But if you really do like HiGen and you're, you want to fool your friends or create videos using this AI technology, then maybe that's an option that you would like to go for. All right, so now that I've given a video sample with my voice, as well as given my consent so that they can use my likeness in order to create their AI avatar, all I have to do is click on submit. The video is going to upload, and then it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes or so to render so that I'll be able to use a script in order to have myself read out whatever I want it to. And then down here, you can see once that it's done, I have three videos that I can create for free. If you notice at the beginning, the video quality might not have been the best, and that's because number one, I had to zoom in a little bit so that you wouldn't see the high gen logo that comes with downloading it, but also it only will download in 720p for free. You can come over here and see their pricing model. If you come over to monthly, it'll be $29 a month. That'll get you 1080p, which is fine for most cases. That'll give you 1080, that'll give you up to five minutes, and then I'll give you three full avatars. So if you plan on actually using this, this might be a good page for you to check out. Otherwise, for testing purposes and just to have fun with it, those three videos were fine for me. All right, so now that my avatar is ready, let's check it out. Hey, Alexander Lagana, your instant avatar is ready. Try creating videos with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. So that might have been a little eerie, a little creepy, because I never said that. That's kind of crazy. All those movements, the facial features, me moving my head, all of that was never actually done by me. So now that I have this, what I can do is come over here and click create video. Now there are two things that I can do. I can either pop myself in here. What I can also do is take one of their demos. So as you can see, they have a whole list of demos over here. And what I can do is pop one of these in as well and use one of these. I'm gonna take this and all I have to do is come over to script. All I have to do is type in what I want myself to say. And once I click submit, it'll render it in that voice. By default, it will use my own voice that it got from the recording that I did. But if for whatever reason you didn't want to use your own head or your own face or your own voice, you can come over here and use one of their own. They have a whole bunch. Anything with the diamond next to it is a premium voice that you have to pay for, but they still have about 21 voices or so that you can use on their end. You can add your own script. So if you wrote it in like Google Docs or something and you want to add that document, you can do it here. You can add a recording of your own voice. So if you wanted to record something separately, because for whatever reason you didn't like the sound of your own voice, or maybe you have somebody else reading for you, you can upload your own voice and you can upload your own audio if you have it pre-recorded. Over here is just adding text to the screen. So if I wanted to come in here and say, this is AI, I can come over here. I can come over here and add an element. So if this was going on TikTok, I can add a TikTok symbol or whatever you want to add. I can add an image. But the coolest thing about what HeyGen can do, if I click on myself, number one, I can do a close up or I could do just a circle view, but I can also face swap it. So if I didn't like my background for whatever reason and I wanted to choose from one of these, what I can do is I can click on somebody I can delete, so all of these avatars on the left side that's not you, you can actually click on and remove the background. And this is the exact avatar that I used at the beginning of this video. And what you can do is you can add your own background in. And now if you readjust this, make this a little bigger, 
you have this guy speaking whatever you want. And then you can go to face swap, upload a picture of yourself. And now this guy kind of looks like me, has a little bit of a different beard and is definitely a lot skinnier than I am. And once you have your script in here, I have my script, I have my avatar, and now I can click submit. So that's if you didn't want to use your own face for whatever reason. But the reason you're using HeyGen is to use yourself. So you do the same thing. You'd put your avatar in here. You'd make it say whatever you want and you can adjust it however you want. You can add text. You can add an element. You can add a different kind of asset if you wanted to. The only thing that you can't do here, which is why I wanted to show you how to use a different avatar is remove the background. I can't have my exact face on somebody else it'll change the face but it won't add the facial features or my hair my glasses etc so that's really the only downside of noticed so now that i have my voice in here and the script is going so as you can see in here you can actually change this language to whatever language you want it is through gpt i think it might even be google translate so it's probably not going to be perfect as is any translator but it'll do the job. So if I wanted to change this to Spanish, apply, and the script will automatically change to Spanish. La prueba Pacer de Fitness Gram TM. As you can see, when I play it, it says the avatar is not animated yet. So once I click submit, that's when it'll animate. I'm going to change this back to English though. And now I'm going to click submit and I'll show you the final video. The Fitness Gram TM Pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. Beep. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Ding. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start.